while I am standing on the edge of giving up, because uh, life is pretty goddamn painful, obviously being the best uh, feels pretty good when you're on top of the line, when you're running so fast, faster than anyone else. I can do anything I want, technically. But I have to, like, culminate all my work into one place. And now I have to talk about being torn. And I have to pull Ariana Grande in here, because, like, fuck me, bro. That's, that's, that's the sentence. But, I mean, I have to decide. Do we do rewinds, or do we just throw it away? Because it's so much fucking easier to just throw it away. To, to wind things up and just like, ah whatever i already made a history i already know what's like top 100 and whatever we can sort of like do um complimentary rewinds not not a real one uh come up with some stupid like event thing that doesn't look cinematic i was hoping things to be like 30 times better but like there's I have to work through the pain and suffering of knowing that people don't don't love nothing anymore. They're running out of that one resource. It's like appreciation, respect. So there's a lot of hard feelings I have to go through. I have to open my mouth. That's the only way like I can feel good sometimes. Uh, just just be honest. Just know that my voice is like caps encapsulated. To, People can hear it whenever they feel like it, but it's not now. It's not happening now as we speak. You know, we, we, I'm, I have no listeners now. Uh, I should have one in my room, so to speak. You know, like, uh, there, there has to be more for me to feel better about myself and to be able to, like, carry this uh, flag all the way to the top of the mountain that people kind of expect something to happen at the end of the year someone is gonna figure out right how to celebrate this shit but it's actually pretty fucking tough the competition at the moment looks like piles of crap all right still can get a million views still people are you know interested in the topic of rewind and it has been you know 2019 2020 20 2020, 2021, 2022. We skipped like four years and four is a magical number. And I'm like, well, we have to bring it back now because it would be so ugly if it doesn't come come back this year, you know, like properly. But I, I just, I'm working on my own. You must understand. So now we're torn and we're torn more than ever before. Do we vote do it or uh, chill? You know, like, I will still do it. I'm just not going to do it in a spectacular fashion. Not, not in a proud way. People are just going to look at it and just going to move on with their life. You know, as if nothing happens. Nothing important happened, guys. Of course, my favorite thing in life. See, the way Purge works, you know, in Purge, someone has to take the uh, hot potato, you know. It's a hot potato. Someone has to start taking it from, you know, angry people who are just waiting I'm like, I want to unleash my fucking anger. Take my potato. Next year is going to be happening. People people going to like combine their forces and take potato and swing the potato somewhere else. And we're going to start solving problems. But it's a lot of pressure to, you know, pick a potato and throw a potato. It's a lot of pressure, bro. Holy shit. Some people don't know how to throw a potato. Oh my God, bro. Some people... Just like gonna take the challenge. The how can how long can I burn my hands for a challenge? Some people are gonna do that. You know we're we're that stupid nowadays that we can't just 
can't just pick up a thing and throw, oh, it's too hot, throw it somewhere else. Just that. A simple fucking request, bro. Of just brain functions is required. Uh, but uh, someone's gonna still take the bait and uh, kill themselves with it, with the hot potato. I mean, it, I'm, it, it used to be a normal game, and now it's just uh, like uh, uh, it killed someone, you know. I'm, I'm feeling like in a suicide forest. We're, we're winding back. All the way back, boys. I mean, I can also, like, look at rewinds as well and to get inspired of, like, why am I fighting? What am I fighting for again? But I chose Ariana because Ariana, like, bought it. She bought the rewinds. It's all purchased, my friends. And I just have to, you know, pick it from her. And maybe she has a different vision that she will inspire me to, like, do it in a kind of a different way, but it's not going to be chill. It's going to be, like, pretty meaningful maybe i have to like split it apart across like december and just like make two minutes videos or some bullshit like that like i don't know what's gonna happen but a lot of decisions for youtube rewind is gonna be happening in this torn episode so uh let's jump in this is this is pretty fucking scary like a lot of stuff a lot of functionality is missing in my engine and there's a lot of work to do the only thing i have which is super powerful is to be able to spawn any image i want i can spawn ari right now this one fucking sucks okay that's no normal we can put it right here that's pretty good i like that you know this is a pretty good start but like i'm halfway there there's still more stuff to do when it comes to functionality and programming and a lot of work, you know, my ambitions were too high, clearly, because I forgot the fact that people are assholes, you know, I keep forgetting that fact, that just like life will suck more and more of my energy of like, I cannot just focus on working when I feel bad, you know, when I have to rant, I have to use my stupid outlet of ranting all the time. Because I'm that I'm in so much stress of like, but nobody fucking speaks for me, you know, like no one actually expresses my honest opinions and ideas. So like I have to do it myself. There's no escape, basically. And it's so painful. So I have to work alone with tremendous amount of pain. But I'm I'm still like fully focused on this project because that, that's very meaningful to me. So let's see if we can turn it around. Because right now, I don't fucking feel that good, alright? I went through like a bloody shit moment. I went through a breakup. And uh, mm, I, I still have uh, bad feelings about classmates all over the place. Like There's, there's a lot of stuff I, I don't like right now. So chilling sounds like a pretty good idea. Uh, in general, like there's a lot of programming problems that I have to solve. And I, I would like to, you know, do justice on that shit and do it slowly and surely, you know, like, that would be nice. I'm not saying that something is going to go wrong in Rewind. I, it's just going to be a fake video, right? Like, you, we just, it's not going to have the features that I'll, I'll be displaying. Like, they're going to be half-baked. But it's still gonna work. The video is gonna work. The visual effects gonna work. It's not gonna be that bad. I can I can fake it and make it that way. It's still gonna suck, bro. But yeah, like now now things are intense because I want to beat myself many times over. I'm not competing against anyone. I'm just competing against myself. Which is, at some point it's like. What the fuck are you doing? This is pretty stupid, right? If no one's doing it, you're just stupid. YouTube is sort of like degenerating and at the same time making us ask important questions of like, should I subscribe to YouTube now to avoid ads? Is it actually like an efficient thing? Because ads are pretty fucking disgusting. Uh, they sort of make you think of like, why is it that disgusting and how... I can avoid it, but like, 
even that aspect of uh, uh, adds down your throat because like you you're dependent on watching youtube right like you're a pretty dependent consumer you thought you thought bro youtube is gonna be a nice place where you're just gonna do your thing but not anymore uh-huh we just pulled the rug the the only time when uh someone pulled the rug and it felt pretty fucking good is when, when ari pulled that shit away from me and uh, said thank you and that that was that was pretty good this is the only rug pull i fucking understand you know pull my reality underneath my feet and i'm like shit i can actually interact with celebrities and not feel like a loser anymore that's pretty cool my life was saved four years ago right after rewinds got fucking cancelled and turned into mashed potatoes so uh you know it's a pretty precious moment that i'm like i'm really proud of and i have to like work with ari and all that shit in a spiritual way right now i just like what the fuck well so let's go let's figure out what the hell are we gonna do because uh things are not looking good but maybe ari can change my mind like i looked into this album my everything and it's like okay that that seems like it fits. Break even Zed shows up, even though uh, shut the fuck up, Zed. You're not top one hundred. You're a loser. Even with foxes, you're a loser. So uh, get the hell out of here. We need. I need more ideas. I need a, a smooth ride for you to rewind because this one's gonna fail. Because. I need a deadline as well. I need December 1st to be the deadline. There's no escape. All right. There's no escape from that one. So uh, that stays. That is a decision I cannot, because I have a deadline, because I have something to rush. Like, I, I just want to chill. I just want to find a, uh, just a shitty way to do a rewind and forget about it. Just dump my stuff. But hey, it's it's a tough one. Maybe I should, you know, participate in No Nut November because, like, fuck, maybe the only way to release my feelings is through hard work. You know, blood, sweat, and tears. Not baby juice. None of that shit. You know, just just the other three. That's something to consider. But instead of clicking this button, oh, I accidentally clicked this one. Because I don't know how to fucking do that, all right? Baby Jesus come out like a waterfall every single day. You can't stop me, bro, all right? If you tell me that you're just gonna... I'm, I'm just misclicking a button by accident. Let's try something else. Try a different argument. So, uh, let's see it. We're gonna get a problem one last time. See, see one last time makes me trigger of, like... Well, we're gonna skip one more year? What? We're gonna skip a year one last time? <laughs> that, that would be stupid, though. But now, like, shit, I'm getting tricked. I'm, like, <laughs> getting... Mm, getting the taste of reverse psychology of, like, oh, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do rewinds. You should, you know... Mm, not doing one last time though. <laughs> and like, no. Why try? You know. So just just for the names alone, I'm like, okay, I guess I'm I'm not gonna try. But then at the same time, I know not to try. Trying is stupid. But it's not stupid though. There's two types of try. Trying really hard and just like see what happens if you don't try hard so but i'll just click the other button then break free mm, which one which one should i press mm, best mistake i don't know what that means i don't know what that means i don't, I don't know nothing about babies i haven't touched a baby 
I don't think in my lifetime. I, I don't know, bro. I don't know what is a baby, to be honest. Uh, PewDiePie has figured out what a baby is. Uh, congratulations for him. This year was uh, very important for him, apparently. He figured out what baby is. Holy shit, bro. I will... I will take some more time. Thank you very much. Break your heart. Right, Ben? You see, like, I'm... I'm like connected to YouTubers and it's so painful, right? Like it's like, what the fuck are you doing? But like it's it's they're they real people somewhere out there in the world. Like they're real. Like I can I can sort of care about them to some extent. You know, it's like it's very awkward, but like I could care about you too. You just like you don't fucking show up. <laughs> but YouTubers show up and it's like I guess it's free for all. Who's gonna care about the YouTuber? You know, it's like, I'll take that. I'll take that job. Be my baby. I mean, there's a lot of people that I, I want to care about. But there's no actual support for that. See, the problem is, like, I want to care about the YouTubers, but the, the people below who support those YouTubers don't want me to do that. There's a lot of people in the way, you know, even just supporting Sniper Wolf when everyone hates her is a simp move. And I'm like, no, I'm just supporting Sniper Wolf because she needs a fucking lawyer, at least in the end, she needs a lawyer on her side. Someone, you know, who just uh, keeps things fair and looks at a different perspective. And I'm like... I don't even know how not to support her, to be honest, because she's more influential than the fucking opposition. I'm just saying, bro. And I'm I'm just, I have to live with that shit. The YouTubers are kind of fine. You know, they're not like that impressive, but they're like fine. But you look below them and the people that support YouTubers are fucking scum of the earth. I cannot use their resources in any way. There's no support for me to support YouTubers. There's no links in between, so to speak. It's just like you zoom in and it's a puddle of water. And it's like, YouTuber, you want to stand on a puddle of water and feel? Feel that you're being loved? And like, this is a puddle of water, though. But it's that, that that's what they chose. I mean, just, that's how it feels like. It's all shit. Everyone hates you. For just popping your head out and saying stuff, you know. And the more hateful stuff you say, the more people will hate you. Which is not exactly what I asked for. Is you're not gonna fight mountain with with rocks, you know? Like it, <laughs> you hate on me, it's it's funny, you know. It it tickles, it tickles my fancies, you know. <laughs> when people hate on me, I'm like, I'll I'll just take that rock. Thank you very much. I'm a bigger mountain now mountain of rocks and it's like now it's just a trendy thing to do it's like they find a mountain of rocks and it's like well you throw a rock into the mountain of rocks that's what you do and it's like no i'm a real person though you know you don't just collect hatred into one place and just see what happens that's just fucked up bro so i i kind of like a i'm a mountain i want to chill you know i'm a big dude maybe the biggest in the fucking world i don't know you know pull out the measuring tape let's double check because we can't measure with subscribers anymore that doesn't fucking work it doesn't seem like you know so like uh uh the best the best thing to do is figure out how to evaluate content how about that you know uh all right so uh we're dealing with some fucking crazy problems right i'm screaming i can't stop Talking about how fucking I hate humanity right now and how it just slows me down. And normally, like, I take the challenge. I'm like, fuck you guys. I'm gonna do my thing. But, like, my ambitions are also pretty high. So, like, reaching uh, to, to the level that I want to be at is also pretty fucking stupid. All right. It's like, I have to accelerate the process. And I'm not exactly sure where I have, get the resource. Can I, like, use the rocks to, like, perpetuate me forward? Like, I'm using them for this video by all means. You know, melting 
the core turning into a volcano. I mean, it would be nice. It would be nice if I can turn all the floor into lava right now. Yeah. We would go back to rewind. This gives me an idea. This gives me a hit of like, I don't need to do rewinds. I just need to explain every single rewind. I have to tell a story and just like give someone like of like my version of 2023 rewinds of how it would look like. Just kind of play around with the idea. Who would be in the rewinds? Just throw a little bit of a glitter on, on their face or whatever to show the nicest picture of them or whatever. Just tell a little bit, a little bit of story. Say rest in pieces because fucking everyone hates everyone these days. And it's just a trendy thing that's going to be happening next year. You know, we, we can hate each other right now to the max. But it's not going to be a trend until we like settle down. It's like, oh, actually, we like that stuff. You know, we we hating on each other, but we don't know that we like it yet. That's the pro That's that's the way trends are created, unfortunately. Uh, trends are easy to predict. It's the stuff we do uncontrollably. But we don't know that we like it. You know, that's the way you fucking know that people are going to be hating each other. Hardcore mode next year. So, something else. So there, what was happening this year? I don't know. In, inflation? Uh, <laughs> nothingness? Um, I don't know. Someone died, of course. Some Mac Man died. <laughs> Friendship died. Oh my god. You know that dude from Friends? We're no he's no longer with us. He's no longer friendly. Fuck that guy. Matt Man. No longer gonna save the world. That's the joke of, of this year. Very cool. And kind of like chilling sounds pretty good to me, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm not sure how Ariana is going to change my mind. But again, if I can just like ease myself into it, just stack rewinds on top of each other and just like react accordingly and explain the vibe, the perspective that I have as YouTube CEO and like how 2023 actually is supposed to look like, how it's supposed to feel like, how it's supposed to be way better than anything we have received before. Technically, Ariana has bought 20. 19. I said 2019 does not exist. It exists, but it's garbage. All right. It's a it's a fake YouTube rewind. It's just a purchase agreement. You know. Uh, it, it's a completely different vibe from a normal YouTube rewind. Like some people complain that the vibe has been killed at 2018. I'm like, nah, -uh. All right, but it was, but it rewind did fucking got kicked in the balls. And doesn't want to return the next year. That's what happened. You know, and got kicked in the balls again. And doesn't want to return at all. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck. That sucks. You know. I'm, I'm, I'm putting all this YouTube Rewind. With, there's probably a lot of YouTube Rewind material that I just have. And I don't even know that I have it. And I can just stitch it all together. And it's going to be just good enough you know like but it would be such a failure if i didn't do like at least gloss over and like put some sparkles onto it so there's something i can do i can just stitch the video together i can start filming now and whatever happens happens right i just stitch it all together i can just use an editing software for the first time in forever stitch all the little pieces together but like uh, yeah, I, I, I could just invent a new skill, something outside of my scope. Something can happen, right? So we, we, we're going to be thinking intensely while listening to the music. What else do we have? Love Me Harder? I mean, that's, that's what we're doing right now. We're asking a, a very hard question in a hardcore way. 
break your heart. Also, the, there's there's a lot of black people here, and I don't I don't like rapping. Technically, I'm not racist. I just hate rappers. That's the actual thing. But then the vibe just translates of like black people just take offense and just play the role of the bad guy. So I'm like, well, I am racist then. So I don't know. Some people, there's a split of like somewhat decent black people. And then there's stuff that you, you don't want to look at, you know, like you do. You don't want them to run around your place or uh, on your screen or give you opinions. Uh, so uh, I have to put it up there every now and then I have to say something racist because I'm very uncomfortable. All right. I'm very uncomfortable when a lot of like uh, pop singers have collaborated with rappers and it doesn't fucking hit hard at all it just like it kills the vibe instantly the moment i hear it you know your part <laughs> your shitty part whoever you are bro because I, I i don't i i don't got nobody on my radar no not a single rapper exists just like black women don't tend to exist very much same goes with black rappers i'm not gonna learn a single of of these guys names or listen to a single of their songs. It's it's a miracle if it happens, right? It's just like it, it, they just turn invisible. Like I I don't want to see it so badly. So that that was the racist part of the video, you know. Sometimes gotta have it. When I see a black person, we're gonna talk about racism. You know, like not we're gonna have to do it. It's like well. If you care about it so much, whether someone is racist or not, every time I see a black person, we're gonna talk about racism. That's how it works, bro. If you are uncomfortable about a topic, we have to talk about it. We have to. There's, n oh, we we have two choices. Of course, we can run away from the topic. We can just dismiss it. Of like, I'm not, I'm not racist. Actually, I have so many black friends. I have a black dick in my mouth right now as I speak. It's a little bit difficult to speak, but like, you know, uh, or I can actually accept the need to discuss, right, the feelings that I have. I accept it most of the time, you know, I want to chill most of the time. And as you can see, there's a lot of traps. There's a lot of weird shit that people have laid down layer by layer, year after year. They put down traps. They trapped YouTube Rewind. They're trapping my sanity too, uh, alongside with everyone else's sanity. It's not looking good. It it's, feels pretty painful. Now, it would be nice to be able to see what the next year is going to bring, because next year is either going to be like a turnaround point or it's just going to make things worse. I think it's a turnaround point. If you look at the matrix of next year, uh, it's it's bizarre. It's very confusing. We had 2020, and shit just went downhill. All right, YouTube Rewind couldn't make it past this point. The here it died. We have discussed that many times, but this is a question mark. Does it get better when we're on the other side, when the other gender takes the role? Like, women have a big responsibility to actually be a positive influence and not be afraid. There's not much to be afraid of, to be honest, even at this point. But it's just like, you're not supposed to be afraid anymore. You have the power. You have all the resources. Women are winning without maybe knowing that they are, you know. But, like, maybe up to this point, Andrew Tate show, showed up and shut them down a little bit. Maybe Mr. Beast humbles people continuously. You know, there's a lot of men in powerful positions. I don't know, bro. We almost had a women president, but it slipped through our hands. 
Am I right? But hey, Lithuanians had a women president for like eight years. Did something happen though because of that? No, because we're insignificant, but we had it. We're proud of ourselves because we, we had something you guys wanted and you couldn't fucking deliver. All right. So at least, I, at least that happened. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, even though our woman president was named after a mushroom. Uh, I'm not. It, it feels like, like she, she became president because uh, she took a lot of mushrooms in, into her system, so to speak. And I'm like, that's, that's still valid. That still counts. All right. Still fucking counts, bro. It's either mushrooms or she is crazy or both based on her name. It's pretty fucking scary. I'm not going to lie. But we'll, we'll take anything we can get. Lithuanians have to fucking deal with very minimal amount of resources here and self-esteem. Now, crossing the line. Again, it's if you look like this, like the world is going down and very bad things are happening. But it's it's men like shutting down the systems and a lot of people are panicking because like, whoa, I thought everything is going to be OK, you know, but oh, you shut down my I, I, I didn't pay for electricity bill. I didn't pay for rent. Oh, fuck. I didn't pay for my existence. I, I wasn't nice to you. Oh, 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 I, uh oh. Now we have to compl we have to do something. Uh, and women usually would like step in and accommodate a lot of the problems, right? Like just, okay, I will dump my stupid fucking dog or three cats that I have. I will dump those fucking creatures and I'll accommodate a struggling person from the streets that doesn't look like a piece of shit addicted to drugs all right that would be a nice thing to happen that's what women supposed to be doing it's not really happening right now but i'm like the fingers crossed you know because we're crossing a line at some point at some point something is going to change simply because it has to and will women turn things around and not hit rock bottom too fucking hard it's all all, all up to them basically I'm like giving in, but right now I have the power and technically I have the only fucking chance to have a voice, right? I don't give a fuck, bro. Women think they have the advantage, but I like them more than they like themselves sometimes because I have been struggling this whole time up to this point, this whole time. I and up to this point, just never-ending struggles, my friends. So I don't feel like any of this impacts my life in any way. All right, I'm just like I, but I have to respect it because it impacts other people. I'm talking to the audience right now, right? It impacts most of us in some kind of way. We're interconnected. I'm like the fucking edge lord. Maybe I have left the universe at 2020. I'm like, oh fuck you guys. You know, maybe I'm doing that. Because very likely I am. And there's a matrix of their celebrities here who don't really give in to trends and all that stuff. They're just doing their thing, whatever. They're obl they're they they have a privilege to do whatever the fuck they want. You know. And still get rich out of it if people like it. So easy, easy peasy for them. They just like create a support system for the trends and all that shit. A lot of, there's a lot of shadow people who just kind of like want to explore the areas that are left behind that the possibilities, you know, taking the red pill, even though I don't think red as a color exists. Uh, or should exist as often as it is, but like, cool. Because like, if you look around right now in your room, 
If you find color red, I mean, holy shit, I'll give you five bucks for that. You know, for every single different color of red you can find. That shit's rare, bro. That shit's not purple, but it's still pretty fucking rare. Okay, this is probably a, a proper rare color that actually looks rare. You know, but we, we talk about red and it's it's still pretty fucking weird. You know, look, you look around and like, there ain't no fucking red. I have a red box. I'm lucky, bro. There's a fucking red thing in the corner. People like red. I mean, that's that's cool, but like... Uh, it's it's the most extreme color there is. Alright, and it's not supposed to be like that much. I'm just saying. So we have a, a bunch of shadow people who... I, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Running around. It's just... They're the ones who say fuck you to trends and in the middle of nowhere, right? And just at random point in time that said fuck you to trends and they try not to go back, even though they're magnetized to like at some point get sucked in, but maybe they fall in love with the shadows, the freedom, the anarchy. I, I don't know. Some people just... Well, but if you become an asshole, now you, you're too needy. Too needy, greedy, and shitty, bro. You have to, like, not exist. <laughs> you have to just masturbate to the most vile things, things, th think the most vile things, but actually be happy in the end. And it's, it was your private life this whole time. It's kind of like the shit. I'm not sure. There's a lot to explore about this nonsense. But it's just, like, not trendy. It's not something you can be proud of. It's not something you can put in the open. People treat me as a shadow person, and I'm like, and you have no idea how big of a mistake that is, you know? People try to, like, look away from me, and I'm like, no. Well, right now you can. You can look away all you want. But I have defined myself. I have found myself. At, at 20, really, I'm just detaching, basically. I'm like, I have a perfect goal. And I, I, I can technically, maybe, do whatever I want. But not really. Because the world defines you, you know? Like, you find yourself the most comfortable position to be in. Based on how the world treats you. Uh, I can't take any of the blame, because I'm still, like, alone. You know, I don't have much resources to work with besides uh, wasting myself on the internet, which is pretty, pretty painful, pretty weird. This video is taking a dark turn, and apparently will, it will take quite a time to figure things out and tear, tear the question apart. I understand, like, a little bit of noise, a little bit of people... Uh, trying to talk to you, saying saying things is pretty distracting, but like, and maybe it's actually like edgy. I don't know, because maybe, maybe I am like stuck here in this space. Uh, I'm not a support system for trends. I'm the guy that just like bounces shit off the wall. I'm like, well, we had enough. I'm I'm the guy that ruins the party. You know, the party trying to become an orgy, trying to become a riot. And I'm like, let's ruin that one. You know, let's not do that. Fuck you guys. I feel like a gatekeeper, but at the same time, I'm like, what is my purpose if I'm like stuck here? Like, I, I don't really get to interact with people necessarily. Sometimes maybe a shadow person is going to bump into me and be like all upset about it and press a dislike button because I didn't allow him to kill himself and all that shit. So <laughs> it's like, you don't, you don't allow someone to kill themselves and it's like, oh, you're a bad person. I really wanted that freedom, you know? It's all about freedom. To shoot myself in the face, am I right? To have guns for suicide purposes. Like, I be careful with this shit, man. This is so fucked up.
This is so fucked up. There's I'm the edge lord because I protect people from jumping to the other side, to the demon side, basically. So now that you understand what my role is, I'm the gatekeeper of just hell itself. Of like, if you want to go to hell really badly and you defeat me, wow, congratulations, you pass. You don't you don't want to see what's the on the other side though, but. I, I throw you all the warnings in the world, and uh, you just went went through it. Never come back, by the way. We shut shut door shut the door. You're dead now. You know there's no escape. There's no way you're gonna fucking learn respect and responsibility and uh, build self esteem. On that other side of the fence. Like, there's no way you're gonna find anything positive in that world. You know, now you're trapped. Now your soul is trapped. There's, there's so many fucking people who just throw a bunch of shit at me. And I'm like, bruh, just go to the other side. You know, I'm, I'm trying to lure them in. And I'll sh shut the door and be like, mm, actually... Mm, yeah, now you're dead. No, mm, must suck pretty bad. There's still a lot of people who just pop out and just bump into me, and I get to play the role of gatekeeper of life and death. You know, because I'm on the edge myself. Not not on purpose. I'm just like life is pretty fucking hard, but I'm I'm dealing with it. I'm I'm trying to trying to hold on it's not easy but i'm like I'm, I'm doing my shit and now my life is wonderful does that change my life am i not a gatekeeper anymore well uh i'm a gatekeeper that gets paid let's put it that way i'm a gatekeeper that just established itself as such there's no escape for me so technically it's not necessarily my year but I should be at least preparing myself for 2028, you know. It's not my year, but like 2027 Rewind must be the most highest quality shit you have ever seen on YouTube. And the most emotional roller coaster ever as well. So I have to get to that point. I have to, you know, also like celebrate the breaking point. I have to observe things. You know, I have to appreciate something. I have to uh, send the strings, pull the strings. Especially maybe, well, no, no, I don't know. Maybe if I, like, detached here, I have strings that I can receive from celebrities or some bullshit like that. Because I own this thing. I'm, I'm not, not waiting eight more years, by the way. We're not waiting for this. I can switch which side I have to gatekeep. And I, I, I kind of have to switch. But maybe I can, like, receive some love. There's, like, an opening for me to receive some love before I switch positions. Right now, I could... Maybe I have to be a woman to... I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Fuck it. No, no, no. I mean, I, I do feel love from women, technically, at the moment. If I switch sometimes, I, maybe... That's a good analogy. But then, like, what? Men are gonna, like, hug this shit, bro. It's confusing. It's weird. I'm talking about celebrities, technically. Right? Like, actually, powerful people can send me stuff. Uh, through here. Through the empty space, it, seems, it feels like. Or I receive it, at least. The not sending me directly, but, like, I receive it through this channel. So there's two different cores of uh, edge. The, the edge of male core and the female core, right? So we're just, we're just getting started with the story, basically. The male and female core, boys. Obviously, I should use a different color and whatnot, because why the fuck not? 
of the Waters and Matters voice. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, potentially women are capable of sending more messages and once they become busy, they will not be able to like send sexy pictures of themselves anymore. Like that, that sort of stuff. That is the, mm, well, projection. Women are now free to like, well, we have empty space. We can just send a bunch of like sexy things, but eventually we're going to get really fucked up. And you don't want to see it, basically. Like, we're going to be busy. Right now, we're, like, free to, like, detour men, to pull down men's pants in an indirect way. Uh, to try and, like, bounce them off. Uh, all right, that's cool. Let's, I'll take that. So, th these are the last moments when you can actually, like, appreciate women and feel like, uh, you're you're connected with them very likely right because that's uh, and maybe that's like the women female apocalypse so uh, what's gonna happen here with women like potentially if you show them attention they will like chase after you you know they will switch switch gears if you show them any positive attention anything that they deem as positive they're gonna like try and reel in more because now they're desperate now they like want resources and all that shit so potentially interacting with women is not gonna be that relevant to me anymore that's a pretty big question right reeling in that's the women apocalypse that i have like projected as well just here at 2020 i'm like a woman apocalypse is gonna happen i'm just saying that i'm like women will want me just by default because like they will have to want me this is this is unstable the way life works right now it makes no fucking sense bro like i i, th I threw my affection didn't fucking work it has to work at some point because it makes no fucking sense the way life works right now. So, women will want me. As well as any other insult and creature on earth that still has some self-respect, bro. Obviously, some positivity. Because that shit is hard. And once women realize that it's actually pretty hard to be positive all of a sudden, they will switch gears. But will shut down my ability to, you know interact with them as i normally was without like taking damage so but i will just still feel that they're getting closer and closer potentially and that they're pulling their that they're putting effort and i'll just like be a cheerleader for most of these women uh uh helping obviously the the women that like recognize that i put in affection for them you know that I, I put in the effort they have to find it they have to chew up on that shit because like you can't ask for more i've already done plenty no worries bro i'll just uh you know chill on the other side of where i have to be and maybe i'll gonna be picked up uh because i'm not sure if i can just like crash down of whatever can happen maybe i can crash down using youtube Rima. I don't know what, what can happen from this position that I'm in. I'm, like, very stuck. Because I'm very comfortable as well. So it's a big question mark of, like, what the fuck? I get to technically observe the entire world. You know, I get to see all of the knowledge of the world. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it, it would be, like, very comfortable thing of, like, well, like, we switch places. I jump in on a bandwagon and uh move along with everyone else and it's like, as if like my frustration of being uh being unable to be social is is all gone now fascinating right as if nothing really happened but a lot of pain and suffering
it, you know, goes away because you survived. You pushed through another layer of stupid garbage. You push through that, and on the on the other side, life is so much better. I have already, you know, experienced that. It's not not a big deal to figure that out. But there's just there's sometimes some problem getting stuck, and you had got to flush it. You got to find a way to unclog the problem. Something's going on. Something's clogging up the system. Some fucking asshole is in the middle of this, asking to get his face kicked, you know, with the round roundhouse kick, you know, we have to fucking call Chuck Norris, because holy shit, maybe, <laughs> maybe there is some, you know, person that will not get defeated just by one punch, or uh, by other people, we, we need just uh, the power of the gods to annihilate wh wh whatever is getting me stuck in the lowest of the lowest position of like, I have to protect people. Like, people are in danger. So, you know, I go to the edge of the, the human existence in general, and I'm like, my job is not to end my life. My job is to protect other people from doing that, from making that decision, you know. Because that's where I was pushed into. I'm like, shit, I, I gotta protect other people now. Maybe if I do a good enough job, I don't have to do this job for too long. You know, but it feels pretty fucking crazy right now. So it's like, but isn't the edge always there? Well, if you follow the trends right now, we're closer to God than ever before the the highest power the middle the greatest balance of all time we're closer than ever before i can feel it i don't get to you know express it very much i don't have a voice for it but uh i, I can i can sort of see that uh, because uh, we're, we're sort of like cleaning up the system when we see like all the problems exposed they're like blare, blaring at us. And a lot of people have like uh, detached themselves from being nice and they become greedy because they're scared for their life. You know, they're, they're scared that something bad is going to happen and everyone is detaching, you know, everyone is removing their investments and all the fake shit is like getting flushed. So we're closer to God than ever before. It's not a pleasant experience. You know, but when we're facing God, we have to be as humble as possible, as humbled as in humanity as possible. When we're not humble, that's when the, you know, the death rate goes up to to tremendous extent. And you don't get to see death. You don't get to see death. Death is not a number. Death, death is the amount of brain cells that evaporate because people hate you. People hate you and they have power to do so. That is death, bro. That is death. That's someone just deciding your fate, basically, and pushing you over the edge. And some people just decide that, like, shit, humanity is not a pretty fucking good place to stay anymore. You know, that is death. It can happen a little bit delayed after the decision has been made. It can be a little bit delayed, but that is death. Like you lose the positivity, you lose your sense of hope. You can, uh, you know that the border is there. You get introduced to it, and some people start making the decision more and more and more because the border is like further and further away. Ability to die is further away. It feels like, you know. It's like, it's just pain and suffering at that point. And it's like, there's no point in dying either. Because we, because there's no enemies, it's just silence now. You know, we, we're getting more and more humbled as we get closer to God. The line of ultimate power. I, I, I'm not going to define what God is, besides that it's way more powerful than you are. You have to just humble yourself down that there's there's a collective 
energy, something. You have to create something that's way more powerful than you are. Doesn't want to fucking crush you. Doesn't want to destroy you. It just exists. It exists all the way around you. You don't have control over everything, but you could, you know, you could sit down with God and be like, what it's, what it's like to control everything, you know? And it's like, uh, uh, and he farts in your face, you know, as a joke. It's like, well, you enjoyed my fart more than enjoyed controlling the universe. So enjoy the farts, little bitch. That's what it's like talking to God, bro. You know, that's why I talk the way I talk. I, I know, I know the shit, bro. Most of the people are gonna get get the joy of doing that. Maybe I'll switch and I'll say hi to God. We're not gonna spend much time together, bro. But a lot of people will have to spend a lot of time because you know they're gonna fucking wrecking ball into the most powerful creature imaginable. And they're gonna shatter their fucking faces into it. You know. We're not just talking about rewind anymore. We're talking about so fucking unholy crazy things that you will you will see as we transition into 2024 as uh, a different power takes takes the hold as uh, men are completely humbled and destroyed uh by their weaknesses and and women finally realize oh shit i have so much money so much value I have to spend it somehow efficiently now. They're gonna wake up one day and be like, oh shit, my life was easy this whole time. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa, yay! Yay! And now you have responsibilities, you know. Ooh, thank thank you for waking up. Uh, I can't I can't wait to fucking laugh at, at their faces, you know, when they realize when that shit I get exposed to them as well. You know, they will get to see it me but they won't be able to interact with me anymore you know in a, in a meaningful way in a way that doesn't sound very needy and greedy bro i'm i'm weaponized i am you know ready to take in the the, the wrecking wall because you have met the god at this point but then you will have to meet the gatekeeper the women apocalypse the pinnacle of women apocalypse that i will have to deal with personally this shit that is my responsibility 2028 transition and that one's fucking mind-blowing i don't even want to think about it you know because life can change completely uh, uh, i i don't want to think about um, all the porn is playing at all at once right now. All the porn I've ever seen is is playing right now. Every wall turned into a screen that uh, holds like 10 videos of porn right now playing. That's how I feel right now. All right. Women Apocalypse, the, the, the pinnacle, the, the thing that I will have to bounce off if I remain a gatekeeper. Hmm. It's, it's going to hurt. All right. The impact is going to hurt. Some people act like gods and they will get hurt as well. Because uh, they will have to, you know, like, role-play the thing that they're playing. If you if you think you're fucking godlike, then uh, good luck. I want to I wanna see what happens, bro. YouTube is a nice place where people get connected. And uh, I just, just want to see what's up. What's going to happen to those people? What are they facing? You know, because I'm just sending messages. They will have to face real life. <laughs> I can just talk. I'm just talking, bro. I haven't done anything crazy. That's the way I gatekeep. It's the, the easiest thing. You do the easiest thing to the most people. But uh, this is kind of like the opposite, right? Easiest thing to the most people becomes the opposite of uh easy hardest thing to the most people do we need just one negative usually two negatives also work so it it could be hardest thing to the most people or 
But like, yeah, some kind of crazy video can show up that uh, not mine. I cannot make. But some like group of people have like decided to put together a video that just destroys people's minds, just blows the shit out of them. Because, uh, you know, you, we're crossing a line. We have to make a crucial decision of not to bounce, not to just cower. We have to cross God with, with humble and promising, uh, you know, uh, mindset of, with hope that everything's going to be fine, that there's a lot of changes that are meant to be happening soon, and most of them are supposed to be positive. You know, we, we have shut down some systems, some systems are going to be, like, opening up, but they are going to be challenging to take in. Like, the AI is weird. What the fuck is AI going to do? It's just going to aut automate females, basically. <laughs> you know, AI is supposed to do the easiest thing that is harmless to people, so it's basically uh, a, a female technology we're, we're starting to create and see. Uh, AI can make us wear any clothes, can make us look good and project our future, you know, to us. It could be a, a, quite a mirror to us of what we have to look for. AI can tell us how to work on ourselves, how to improve our lives. We can just upload a few pictures and AI is going to tell us what to do. It's fucking scary. It's like a female in the room, instantly, immediately judging you. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. So you will all, always get a taste. Whenever you feel like you want to get a taste of uh, the other side, it's AI, boys. And it's going to get amplified more and more. You know, just like for me, Ari is my AI. You know, like, it's not far off. So you can see I have a ridiculous amount of frustrations. I can't even get to the core of the video of being torn. Doing the torn episode. It's not even a torn episode. It was just a rant. So, uh... Well, we were delayed. YouTube rewinds a few more hours. I'll still be working on it, but holy fucking shit. This decision is so crazy to make. It's so impossible. And all the systems of men the men have are shutting down, so it's like not it's not that easy to work through this. You know, what's shed, shutting down like if I did YouTube rewind back in a day would actually be a great idea. But I picked it up because it was sh shutting down, so I'm like, well, I took the bait. I'm the stupid dude. You know, I took, I took what's not meant to be taken because it's very difficult. It's going to produce a lot of hard feelings. But it's just like, it was natural for me. I'm like, I, I want it, you know. It's going to be lost forever, and I, I appreciate stuff that should still exist, you know. And I will... Potentially, all I have to do is review other people's rewinds. I don't know. Maybe I can just chill. Maybe I can just relive, rewind, tell you guys the story, do my best, based on my feelings. But at the same time, like, it's it's too it's too hard. There's a lot of stuff that I I need to know. I need to know to be able to keep up with the stupid people doing stupid things. Because the stupid things that still have consequences that I have to deal with. You know, I have to mitigate the, the problem. Make it just heal the damage. Stupid into stupid, boys. This, this is smart. A smart thing that nobody's going to show me has evolved five times already. And I haven't seen a level one of this thing in someone else's mouth, you know. So it fucking sucks, bro, that no one made it this far. People can, can barely make a good thumbnail 
with decent font, bro. It's so funny, bro. It's just... So, we, we don't have a person that can share us proper skills and proper technology anymore. And uh, even YouTube is showing us a middle finger if we don't pay for it. It's not a very good, nice year to deal with problems right now. Uh, to the extent that I am. But I can do something, obviously. Not all hope is lost. It's just I couldn't figure that shit out in this video. Meaning that uh, every single time that happens, I will delay you to rewind that much. You know. I'll just have to, like, take a step back and be like, What the fuck just happened, bro? I have so much work to do that has nothing to do with my responsibility that I've taken, you know, and I promised. It has nothing to do with that because it, life just keeps getting worse when you're alone, when you, like, realize, like, I need to take other responsibilities too. I can't just uh, fuck around and pretend that we're happy and stuff. You know, when I'm just tormented by all the responsibilities. So I have to dump something. And the first thing that I have to dump is the, you know, the entertainment part, the fancy stuff, the interconnected stuff, the celebration. The party has to be, you know, given up. This is the first thing to give up. Because, like, I still can be happy not desperately connecting with people, you know. I can be happy slowing down. Fighting for your life. Every single day, fighting for people to, like, uh, see you, see you, like, th that is a fight that nah, is not worth uh, the effort, you know. Because, you know, you need a trash bin for your effort. You feel like, well, I have ability to do something. So a lot, you can, you're not supposed to be an artist. You're not supposed to be an entertainer. A lot of people are making a mistake of being influencers right now when they should be doing something else. They have to have other responsibilities to take care of instead of doing the influencer bullshit. I can see that. And I don't want to do the same fucking mistake. Because that's the worst mistake to ever make. So I can be, like, really influential on the platform, sucking a lot of attention and all that shit, create a black hole of discussion and all that stuff. But it's not going to work out if I don't do it properly, you know, if I'm not ready for it, if I'm just going to be tormented by the attention that I receive. And if I, I just flop, if, if the pace is too fast and I can't keep up. So there's a lot to think about. I don't want to fail this shit. But I don't want to fail myself a lot more. You know, that's the battle. I'm about to fail myself because, like, there's a lot of pressure. Or I can choose to take the risk. And that, well, like, I will fail myself, but I will succeed for other people. It's a sacrifice. There's always, like, a middle ground. If we're pulling a rope, like, we should also just shake hands in the end and just figure out where's the middle ground. Because, like, we battled, you know, we said our things, we have thrown our chairs, but there, all, there's always a middle ground to be taken. If we pull rope, like, maybe middle ground is a little bit... On a different side, you know, maybe some side can actually win a little bit. But when it comes to like a 50% voting thing, like even the renovation thing, Donald Trump was voted 50%, Brexit was voted 50%, anything that gets voted 50% is a disaster. Humanity will just explode. It's a nuclear weapon called 50%, bro. 50-50 is a nuclear weapon name, boys. Because it, it's a disaster. Half of the people are disagreeing. But, oh, there's a 51 
50.1% that voted for the other side, so they just win. And it's like... <laughs> wow. And it's like, I, I, I heard a girl, like, talk to the other fucking girl. And it's like, renovations, bro. Some people don't have the money. Some people don't think it's a good idea, you know, to just pay in into the subscription of renovations, of uh, renewing houses, because, like, Fuck, these guys didn't fucking care ever until now. They can just suck in all the money when the property prices are so fucking high. They can just it conjure up rent out of nowhere. It's just like, maybe we wait, maybe, no? And But the, there's a fucking girl down the street being uh, fucking uh, average and stuff saying... Uh, oh, there's just two people that, like, uh, voted against and it's like, uh, they tilted the fucking thing you know there's like there's like 52 and there's 48 of us and these are fucking like poor poor idiots they can't even afford uh renovating their homes what a fucking losers that is the vibe from the fucking girl break basically and it's like holy shit first of all you have no fucking idea what you're talking about but how the fuck did that happen? You know, how are you allowed to even discuss this next to an adult where I can fucking hear it, basically? It's insane, bro. You didn't even turn around and it's like, maybe you should ask more questions. But like, this is where we are right now. Where we are is a very peculiar time where young people be like they ruled the world, which is not very much the case, unfortunately. They have to open their eyes a little bit, you know. They, they don't get to rule the world. Just because you get technology, just because you feel happy and contempt with your life, doesn't mean you rule the world, though. You know, people shut up very quickly when they fucking meet me. You know, the gatekeeper. You're not supposed to meet me. In the first place, I'm not supposed to exist in your life. I'm the scariest thing that exists on the planet, bro. And that is not a demon, unfortunately. I would very much like to, but I, I don't want to fucking cross the, the... I have obligation. I have love. You know, I don't want to waste it. I don't want to just shatter the whole fucking uh, thing. But it's like, I know. I know why demons, like, fucking... Bash on the gate is like, I want to get out and just like tear people apart. And I'm like, fuck, I feel that pain. You know, I feel that pain. I'm stuck here because I'm very comfortable talking to demons. And I'm like, yes, I understand. I understand. I could unleash the horde of demons anytime. Just go fight. But I will die in the process. I will die very quickly. I unleash the demons. They eat me first. Don't worry about it. That's why I don't fucking open the gates of hell. You know, I'm the first fucking victim, bro. Of losing my mind and just like, uh, uh oh, oops. I guess I shouldn't have done that. That's my responsibility of like, just stop myself from pressing the wrong buttons, you know. And YouTube Rewind could also be a wrong button to press. I don't know. So I'm torn. So yeah, there's a fucking girl. So what? But two people! Shut the fuck up! 50-50 is a nuclear weapon. A new discovered nuclear weapon. And a real nuclear weapon is always going to be just an idea. You know? It's a simple idea. So, you know. Radioactive. Nuclear weapon 3. You couldn't decide, but decided anyways bullshit <laughs>